agree. We're I, don't, I don't on the record. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would have. I, I think any hockey person, whether you're for or against, would want to see that goal counted. Yeah. Uh, the first goal. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, the second one I can see. Yeah. But that first one, it just. I. It's gonna be. I'm. I'm kind of anxious to hear some of the debate going around on it. Uh, because he went, you know, you're allowed to go in the crease to the pucks there. I know he pulls it off, but he pulls it out complete control. So yeah. uh, I thought it was a goal. That changed the game. No, yeah. it sure had an impact on it. Yeah. Ever the DVR have not seen yet. So <laughs> we've heard about it. <laughs> I, I just know now there's a controversial goal. That's it. I don't. I've avoided the result. Do you know a, a timeline on those guys as far as getting back here? Are you, are you thinking you'll be full strength on Saturday? They'll be back tomorrow. Oh, good. And I usually wait to to um, talk with the boys, and they got a big game to play here today. And yeah. you know, we're preparing like they're not going to play. Uh, okay. um, a lot of times they do play, and sometimes they don't. And yeah. after we have conversation, we'll we'll see where it goes. I don't know that those are particular guys that need a boost in confidence, but how much does we back to this? Every year when guys come back, but especially those guys, what can this? I mean, and they played so well. Yeah. What can this do for them going forward for you guys? I can just tell you the same. How you asked it is, is so many times you see the confidence on players when they come back, but you, but with that you kind of see it on a lot of young guys when they come back after Christmas. That two and a half week break sometimes is just, I call it the magic starts to happen, where you could see some of your players coming now. And those players get a boost in, in, in some energy off of it. Uh, but I, I think we're going to see more of that from a lot of our young guys. You can already, we can already tell that uh, our young guys got another level to hit. Do you have a lot of players kind of take off for World Juniors and then come back? In your experience with that, is there challenges to kind of fitting back into the college game and with your teammates, or did they kind of come back? And no, no, no more than, uh, it, I mean, it is very odd how we have – two and a half, three week breaks in our season. And no matter what, there's a, a, a period that you got to get going again. And it doesn't happen like that. Um, and, uh, the, and we don't start school, like the, the good thing for us on, on those players coming back, we don't start school at the 17th. And um, so they're going to get plenty of time to rest. Uh, and we have a break first week of February too. So the, uh, and they're young. They bounce back a lot quicker than all of us in this room. For the guys I speak that, for myself, I guess I should <laughs> say. No, I'll, I'll take that. Um, for the guys that weren't at World Juniors that had those exhibition games, how was that kind of getting back into the swing of things? After I, uh, I thought it was, I thought it was excellent. How we it, it afforded us the ability to play some uh, players in key, more key roles, uh, elevate their ice time. Um, you could see more comfort level uh, out of out of our young guys. Um, I I thought we got a lot out of it. I really do. What did your not, What did your non Minnesotans think of places like Eveleth and Coleraine? And, you have to know. ask them. I, I think they enjoyed it. It was, you know, it was a great trip for us. You know, it was great to get up north to get out of town and yeah. uh, full building up in Bemidji and a uh, little history in Eveleth. There's a little history in that building. Yeah. I hadn't been in it in years, so even for me, it was kind of. Uh, you spend a lot of time in awe um, with John and, and everything else in the building. You indicated there was a good contingent of maroon and gold at the Bemidji game as well. A lot of, yeah. a lot of northern fans. Well, it, it goes, you know, like we don't get up there much anymore. Yeah. Uh, you know, we used to go up there on a yearly basis, whether it was even going to Duluth or Bemidji and, and North Dakota and, and St. Cloud, and now it's every other year or we hadn't been in Bemidji. And, um, it kind of reminded you because it was predominantly a gopher crowd. Yeah. We saw the pictures. What, what did it mean to your players? We lost them too, but to meet John Mayosich, you hear the name and you hear the legend. It's another thing to shake the man's hand and hear him tell stories. I think that's when they saw the pictures and, and, and John's enthusiasm to show off Ebleth and, and not himself. We were all in awe of John, you know, and John could still play. Uh, we had a hard time keeping up with him running around the, the, the lobby. Uh, uh, I, I can only say, I hope they got it like we did, like us older people got it. 
Um, it was special. We kind of thought the Huskies might take a step back this year, but man, they're that sounds like a pretty good hockey club. They're very good. Got. You know, they got, they're old, they're veteran, and they're, their old guys are all playing well, and they've kept a lot of fifth-year guys back and, and transfers in there. And uh, I, I don't, we don't see a weakness. I can tell you that. So I'll tell them that you're the one that said that they were going to take a step back. We thought I was wrong. You said we, so I'm not the one over here. We, we, us in the media. <laughs> All right. No, just me. I guess. Well, you've been wrong before. <laughs> really? <laughs> um, group for you personally. I mean, you've been in there as a, as an opposing coach now once. Once. But is it still? You know, got to mean something. To, I would think to to go back into that building. Well, for sure. I mean, it, I spent I spent a lifetime there, yeah. and and that that place afforded me a whole lot of great opportunities and. I'm forever grateful for my time there, and and uh, and it's been fun. The old players are reaching out to me, yeah. you know, and and giving it to me, I, and I love it. I, I love it. So, um, so it means they're following. That's what I like. This is the last meeting, though. After this, there's nothing scheduled going forward. What's well, yeah, but there will be. I mean, there, there's. Uh, we're, we're like we have we don't have any like our North Dakota contracts not done our Duluth contracts not done uh, we're going to have contracts with both those schools and then uh, we do have an agreement with St Thomas now I mean that, we have an emergency you know we have a problem here we have a lot of teams that want to play us and we don't have a lot of dates and uh, we didn't choose not to be in that league together <laughs> that 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 was chosen for us uh, and. Uh, we're going to do, and I said since I got here, I'm going to do the best I can to play all the teams around the state. We just were playing, I think, my, so take COVID out. I've been here five years. We played St. Cloud three of the five. And I said behind the scenes, St. Cloud's going to be the first team I was going to take care of for obvious reasons. We had Mankato back on this year. We, we played home and home. Uh, first person I call in the exhibition, I love the exhibition game. We got up to Bemidji. Um, uh, this was the one off off year with Duluth, but we're, we'll be back on. But we're we'll have new four year deals coming with both North Dakota and Duluth very soon. Um, and then, and the St. Thomas thing, we're gonna have to, you know, that's, that's a good road trip for us. <laughs> <laughs> so, take a city uh, bus. You know, we, we, if everyone does the math, like, you know, if. Uh, follows our schedule in the, in the league we play on, we only have one bus trip. The rest are all airplanes. Uh, I, I don't mind playing a road game where it's eight miles away. <laughs> so, um, but we're, we'll, we're, so we're gonna continue to play all the Minnesota schools when we can get them in. Going into the break, Bob, you talked about this being a, a mental break as much as a physical break for guys. How do you balance, you know, guys trying to keep their skills in skating now and then versus do you tell them put your skates in a bag and don't touch them for a couple weeks? Or we, well, there were a few guys that did and needed to. You know, I know Matt, Matthew Nyes needed to, uh, he needed to break. And, uh, and it's going to do him wonder. Some guys just need to keep skating. And remember when we were young, nothing phases you? It doesn't phase them. So they get back going within, within days, they get going again. Is there any kind of like tone shift you need to do when you're entering the second half of the season and then knowing you know it's kind of nonstop from here until Yeah, I, I it, it you kind of find I mean it starts to happen where you know how you play and the way you play it's kind of set like uh, but you do need to fine tune certain areas for you know um, and one of the areas like coming down the stretch we weren't in a lot of close games and we're going to be in a lot of close games. We got to get that patience back in our game. Uh, that's one of the great things about our team is we don't have patience. We want to score and we're going to try to do it right now. Uh, and we need to get a little patience. And but sometimes your opponent's going to force that. So, um, and then I, I, but I really think the key for us is we're going to continue to have emergence of young players. I know we talk about, you know, Cooley and Snuggerud and and Middlestat and Chesley, but. You're going to start to see Lamb and Kurth and and Pino Nemi and you know Strobel and Middlestat and Cal Thomas who had three points his last game. You, 
you know, we're playing those guys a lot, and you're going to see that group kind of join the rest of the reindeer in, in what's been going on. Uh, um, and that we knew that from the start of this year. We, we had this great group of returning players, and we had this large group of young guys. And they weren't all going to get on the same page at the same time. And um, kind of the old-fashioned way to build a ho college hockey program or college athletic team, the, the old and the new got to come together. So well, it's coming together for us. Do you look at this weekend as just in the next game in the schedule, or is this kind of a bigger weekend? I mean, starting the second it's, half, the non-conference, your connection? I mean, well, that that's just my side of it. That, uh, is, but uh, it's big, there's no question, because – St. Cloud, we're both having very good years. There comes a but with it. You know, our next league, you know, I, I kind of always, our, we had the two non-conference or two exhibition games we just played in this series, get ready back for conference. So you like to schedule some non-conference games. This just happens to be with a team that's having an awful good year with us, and but we're trying to get ready for league play again because that's going to set the stage for us on, on how we're playing. But can I, is it a big weekend? Sure it is. I mean, they're, uh, I'm sure we're going to get their A game, and it's up to us to bring our A game.